attaching files and folders to a page. Now that you know how to connect folders and use the file manager, it's time to start attaching files and folders to pages using the Team Files macro. It's easy to do, and it will help you have every file you need in the right place. Open a Confluence page and enter Edit Mode. You can add the macro from the Insert menu or using the keyboard shortcut. Type slash Team Files and hit Enter. The Attach modal opens in a few moments and shows the connected folders. It's a smaller view, but you can do the same things as in the File Manager, including connecting more folders. Let's open a folder and select some files and folders to attach to the page. Click the Insert button when you're ready. Here you can get an idea of how the macro will look, but you'll have to publish the page to use the macro. So let's do just that. Here's the macro with all the files and folders selected. Files and folders have similar options to what's available on the File Manager, and you can check them in the context menu. To view an inline preview of your file, click the Disclosure button next to the title. If you click the file title, you'll open the full screen preview, similar to the preview in the File Manager and with the same options. The Edit feature works the same way here. Click the Edit button, and in a few moments, you can make all the changes you need. When you're done, close the tab and refresh the page to update the preview. If you click the Disclosure button of a folder, you can also view its content. You can also navigate subfolders, create new ones, or even upload files directly to the folder on your page. Remember, files that you drag to upload here will be saved in the original storage of the connected folder and not in Confluence. To change the content of a macro, you need to enter the page's edit mode again. Select the macro and click the Edit button. Now you can add more files just as before. You can also click the Disconnect button on any file or folder to remove it from the macro. Click the Save button when you're ready. You can also delete the macro entirely by clicking the Remove button. You can have as many files and folders as you want per macro and you can also add multiple macros to your page. And now you know how to use the Team Files macro.